So this is another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review of Han Solo Endor campaign from the movie Return of the Jedi So let's unbox this figure so We have the Han Solo figure out of packaging So that is a great likeness The head sculpt to Harrison Ford so good job Hasbro on that so basically this is the figure I am liking the color of the cape so it is something similar to the color of the um, Luke Skywalker poncho so Luke Skywalker has a poncho Han Solo has a full length trench coat for camouflage so I am liking what I am holding and seeing with this Han Solo figure. So the trench coat is nicely tucked, the edges are not frayed and it's complementing the plastic body of the figure because sometimes um, soft, good material, uh, soft goods material like this they don't go well with figures so but with this um, Han Solo figure I think I have a good copy because I've seen the other uh, other figures in packaging these areas where the sims are they're really frayed and they don't look good but this one the copy that I got it seems to be holding on well and falls nicely on the body of the figure so let's take the trench coat off and let's be surprised at what's underneath there so if you're looking for a Han Solo figure and that really iconic Star Wars um, look so this is the figure to get when you take out the trench coat, this is basically the figure of that Han Solo. It looks like it popped out of the TV screen or the movie screen. So it's a really nice looking figure. My only gripe for this figure with regards to other articulation would be on the holster area. On the right leg because you see the attachment point for the holster and this holster is pegged to the thigh of the figure so even if we have a cut and the thigh for rotation and we have that bend on the leg it this thing the holster and the strap hinders right leg articulation so you could only have articulation this way but when you try to move the leg either forward or backward this things really hinders leg articulation for the figure but in total this is a figure to really get because that is just easy just take your exacto knife and if you're not really finicky with your figures if you're into um, keeping your figures for the lifetime then just cut through this way to free that leg from that holster and you're good so actually i'm going to do it right now so let's cut through and free that tan solo right leg okay so it's now floating so we could move that leg to the position that we want and the cut is still clean actually you could i could still trim this a little bit better but i'll do it later off screen 
but with regards to articulation it improves really the articulation of the figure well i just have to submit this uh, figure to heat treatment because the joints are really stiff and stuck but overall um, this is a, fi a figure i recommend if you already have the Luke Sky uh, Skywalker Endor and the Leia Endor. Even this has a problem with regards to the wide, uh, wide uh, space on the waistline. It's still okay. It's still bearable fi uh, figure to own. So that's it. So this is the end of my review for this Han Solo Endor figure.